friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julie. I'm a homeschooling mom of five. As most of you guys know, if you've been around here for any time at all, we are using the Gather Round homeschool curriculum this year. This is a unit study curriculum, so we pick and choose a few different units throughout the year. Gather Round is our core curriculum, but I like to pick and choose another few books to go along with the unit that we're currently doing. Also, we do Bible curriculum on the side, and we do math curriculum on top of this as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around and show you everything that is going on with our next unit, which is space. My oldest is in fifth grade now. Back when he was in first grade, we did Apologia's um, astronomy curriculum, but that is the last time that we really did any in-depth uh, studying into space, and so I am really excited to get into this unit, so let's get started. Here's a look at everything. So first off, of course, we have our core uh, gather round unit. So I love the look of these units. I love the colors in them. I, of course, uh, as I've told you guys, compile these myself. So I print them, I laminate back and front cover. I use my ProClick uh, binding machine to put the binding in there. And then, oh, just lots of stuff here. Each. Each um, unit, so this space unit, each unit has 20 lessons. So it can take you four weeks to do it, five weeks to do it. I typically choose to do it over six weeks. It just gives us a little bit more flexibility. But as you can see, uh, there's a lot of writing to do. There is art to do. Um, there is some scripture writing. And of course, you're learning all about science throughout. You're learning about some history, geography. Uh, it's just a really good, really good thorough um, curriculum that we are really enjoying. So there's a look at one of my kids' books. I have an early reader. I have a early elementary. I have my little kindergartner who is uh, doing the pre-reader book. So hers, of course, is just a lot of coloring and just very, very basic um, math skills and cutting and lots of fun stuff like that. I also have my oldest who's in fifth grade. He is doing upper, upper elementary. And then here is my teacher's guide. It's a nice big, big fat book. I like how Rebecca includes um, a coloring page <laughs> for me to do at the beginning of the book. Kind of an overview of, of how everything looks. It gives me a list here and I used these lists in order to um, find some other titles I could get to go along with this unit. And then there's an overview of uh, each day's lesson and then it goes through and does each lesson. So let's just look through a quick lesson here. Um, here's the first one, so it's just an introduction. And so here's what I read in a day. I read all this information. I often will just turn the book around so that my kids can see the pictures that are in my teacher's manual as well. So I go through and read all of this. It's usually about four pages of reading. Um, and then here, the end of lesson one, it shows me what is in everybody's book. So everybody has science, everybody has um, economics, copy work and spelling, some mapping, and then art where we're studying Vincent Van Gogh. And that's the end of that lesson. And then we're on to lesson number two. As far as books I have uh, to go along with this unit, I did buy a few books and then I also just already had a few books. So first off, we have this one. This is the Apologia book that I bought back when my oldest was in first grade. I don't know how much we'll do in here, but it is nice to have this book just as a secondary resource. I'll probably have it sitting out so that my older kids can really just pick this up whenever they want and just learn some more about the solar system. I also might go and um, do a little bit more in-depth studying into some of this. Actually, maybe for my oldest who does, um, I know he has a lot of um, research to do in his book. I can probably give this to him as a way to get his research done. I also just picked up this book. I didn't realize like it's not really a kid's book. I think it's more of an adult's um, book here, but I might try this as a read aloud and I'll see how that goes. I'll see if it's too much, too deep for my younger ones or if they can sit through and listen to that. I bought this book. We love the Who Is, What Is um, book series. So what is NASA? I will get my fifth grader, third grader, and second grader 
each to read that book as part of their independent reading. As far as chapter books, I also picked up this one. This one was suggested in, um, in the Gather Round book as something to go alongside it. Uh, I haven't decided yet if this is going to be a read aloud or if this is something I'll give to my kids uh, to do for independent reading, but that's a title I'm going to read or they're going to read. Someone's going to read. Uh, I also, I love these books. The Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that book. So this is an all about our solar system. I love these books, just so packed with information. So these books all here. They just go into our morning basket, and because I have such a wide range of kids' ages, uh, from 10 down to 2, I like that for my 5-year-old, my 2-year-old, even my 7-year-old will uh, will really enjoy, okay, all of them will, <laughs> will enjoy uh, these books. There's no place like space. And then this one isn't really about the solar system per se, but out of sight till tonight. I thought that this one would, would go along well with this unit uh, that we are studying. And then these books over here, I have this whole stack of board books. Um, which one is new? This one is a new one. The other ones I just pulled out of my toddler's uh, book basket. But for both my two-year-old and my five-year-old, I thought these would be good ones to have in our morning basket. And each day I'll just read one or two of them as we go throughout um, our Asia, or sorry, our space unit. We're just finishing up Asia right now. Uh, so this one is God Made Night and Day. And so... That looks like just a cute little story. Papa, please get the moon for me. I'm sure most of you guys have heard of this one. It's getting a little bit ripped up. My kids, you know, have ripped some of these pages, but it's a really cute story and goes right along with our unit. Of course, Goodnight Moon, that's a classic and, and a favorite. My little ones have all really enjoyed this book. My toddler right now is obsessed, obsessed with the moon. Uh, and then this is another one I have. It's a board book, but it's really a lot for toddlers. It's more appropriate for like a four and five year old, um, but it just goes through and gives you a lot of different information about all of the planets, just little, little tidbits of information that little ones can understand. And so that one is another little, little kids book to go along with this unit. Thank you for watching today's video. If you are also doing Gather Round, I love hearing what units you guys are all on. So far this year, we have done the human body unit, we have done um, Asia, and we have done the Christmas unit. So this is the next unit we're going into. After this, we will do Europe. So in the next few weeks here, be on the lookout. I will do another unit haul on that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing our book choices and also subscribe to my channel. I do post a lot of homeschooling content. So if you're new here and want to stick around, just hit that red subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.